What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video and today I'm gonna be doing some work on the old quack yak. Yes, that's right We're gonna be doing some work on it And the reason why we need to do some work on it is because I installed the rudder system on the quack yak If you guys haven't been watching the fishing videos or anything like that I installed a rudder system on this kayak So what happens is I can adjust which way the rudder tilts by pushing with my feet on the pedals Okay, pretty simple. Well, with the addition of these tracks for the, the foot pedals to slide on, I actually lost the capability to attach a very, very important piece of equipment to my kayak, and that's this. If you guys don't know what this is, you've been living in the dark and haven't watched very many of my videos. This is my blind for my kayak. And I get a lot of questions about my kayak and the setup and all that. So we're going to cover that in this video as the title probably tells you. But we need to solve this one thing. And hopefully with solving that, we're going to have an even better rig than we had before. So stay tuned. We're going to get this rigged up and I'll walk you through the process. This piece right here is the cause of all of the problems as to why the blind will not work. So normally this sits in the bottom of the kayak like this. It attaches to the back piece that runs up and attaches to the frame right here on the front. But this is too wide to fit with this new attachment. Kinda sucks. It never really fit that great to begin with, but it fit enough to work. It, it had like that much of a gap from the bottom of it to the bottom of the boat. It kinda got a little bit of annoying. It worked, but I think I've figured out a better way to do this. I don't think we're going to need this piece anymore. First of all, I need to get this back piece attached. And it attaches pretty easily. Um, okay. I've got these straps right here from the seat of the kayak. And it just goes right over this back part, which works perfectly to hold this back piece of the frame down. And I had it situated once before. It worked out really well. I gotta figure out how I did that. So part one is figured out pretty easy. I just use these straps that hold the seat of the kayak in. I run it over this back rail of the blind. And then this piece down here, you guys can't see it, it's too dark. That piece right there just sits right there. Normally this piece connects to that one piece that we're not gonna use. And same thing over here on this side. That's how that's gonna ride. I might fine tune the adjustment later, but that's what's gonna work right now. So what we have to do now is figure out how we're going to attach this. And I've got a brilliant idea on how to do that. This might take a little bit of tinkering, but I think we'll, we'll get it at the end. So just, just gotta, gotta figure it out. So I went to a hardware store and got some parts that I think would work for this project. But I had these from some Yak Attack mounts that I had. So these are the screws that go in the gear track mounts over here on the side. So what these do is they go in this little hole and then they can slide up and down the track. On top of that I got a couple of these. I got two different sizes, didn't know which one would work the best. So I got two of them and then we got wing nuts, lock washers and washers. I guess we'll go ahead and get one side put on here and give it a go. Okay, that's the setup right there. Just keep that loose. There's one side done. Okay, we have a proof of concept here. Oh, it looks good. It, I might need to find some different parts for all of this, but this bolt and the wing nut lock washer, this angle bracket, and then a washer underneath it, that seems to hold it in pretty good. My biggest concern right here is that this little piece right here is plastic and it could possibly break so that could be an issue and then this little bolt sticking out that way so I might I might see if I can fabricate something a little bit better there but this is just kind of an idea you know this this is kind of proof of concept or prototype kind of deal here the front end looks good now I just kind of got to get it all fine-tuned and situated and hopefully it'll work that's the that's the biggest thing is getting it to work and being feasible Okay, so here is the problem. The back end of the blind is not long enough to reach all the way to the back with how forward the blind has to sit on this kayak. So, 
the way I had it normally before I did all this stuff, it would fit over both ends just fine. But with the way it is now, we're gonna have uh, about that much sticking out. So it's not horrible. There's a lot of things that I could do to make that work. So, I mean, the biggest thing for me is to just make sure that the, uh, the front end here looks good. I want it to be able to lift up and down. That's the, that's the biggest feature about this that makes sense. So I need to make sure the back end here with the frame is all good. Because honestly, you know what? Having the back end here stick, stick out is not a big deal because I can clip on some extra like fast grass in the back to hang over this. Um, there's plenty of different things that I can do to camo with the back end. That's not a big deal. The big thing for me is making sure the frame sits good, I'm able to use the rudders with my feet, and everything rides right. So, I think we figured that out. Now I just gotta stop worrying about the back end and just kinda focus on the frame. When I lean back, the front end comes up, which is fine. That's how it's supposed to be. One thing I notice is on the front, the blind sticks out about six inches forward of where it should. So I've got six inches of unused space in the front that could be going to the back and that would solve the issue entirely. And I think the biggest problem is this right here, is this attachment point. It needs to be about six inches back. So what I can do, I'll have to look online and see if I can find one, but I'm gonna see if I can find some accessory tracks that I can screw in about six inches back to where I can screw these wing nuts and these bolts six inches back, and then I should be covered. So, like, it's fine the way it is right now. I would make it work. Uh, it does stick up pretty tall, so moving this back would basically angle it down a little more. It wouldn't be super harsh on the front end and the back end, but you know, it does look good for concealment purposes. And that's that's the biggest thing. It's just staying concealed and you know, if my head's poking out or whatever, there's a bigger rise. I haven't noticed a huge deal with it in a kayak situation before. Uh, especially when you're able to get tucked back in the grass, you pretty much just disappear. So I'm not super concerned about that. I'm not concerned about the back. I do think it would look better and maybe possibly work better if I was able to scoot this back some. But overall, I think it'll work. Um, it's a little tight, but it was always a little tight, but it works. I'm able to lay down. Let's say I'm down here trying to get some, call some ducks or whatever. Call, 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 call. Take them, boom, right there, that's all you need. So, it looks good, I'm, I've got access to the foot pedals, this is up and out of the way. Um, paddling is my biggest concern. I've always had an issue paddling with the blind. Normally, when I was had this set up the way it was without a rudder system, I would kneel down here to where I'd be higher up. So the biggest problem I face when I paddle is there's just not a lot of clearance up here to paddle. So I always got on my knees and paddled, but then I was more towards the front. It, it worked, but it didn't work to where it was seamless. There was definitely some flaws and you know, that's how it's probably gonna be because this blind is not made for this kayak. It's made for the Ascend kayak, but it fits this kayak. Well, it fit it before I made some modifications to it to make it better, but. I don't know. If you guys got any ideas, be sure to let me know. I can't say that I am super pleased with this because it's not what it was and there's no way I can make it what it was again because the rudder modification. I got that for duck hunting because it was definitely difficult to paddle with all the gear in the kayak and stuff going against the wind because the nose of a kayak always wants to go towards the wind. So I got the rudder system installed for that reason. So here's, here's the biggest problem. We got all this unused space up front. So there's the front of the kayak right there. So we got all of this. This should be back all the way up here to where you know it's shaped to fit the front end of a kayak. So that should go there. So I just gotta think a little more. I think the biggest problem, like I said, is this right here, this bar. This is what's causing me a big headache. And I honestly, I could probably chop it off and be fine to some extent, I think. But I don't wanna go that route quite yet. 
This is a lot more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. It was good, and then now it's not. <laughs> so, what now? I think I'm gonna have to tinker with this a little bit more before duck season starts, but thankfully we do have like six months until it really matters. It will work the way it is right now, without a doubt. It will work, but I know it can work better, and it's just, I don't know if getting rid of this metal bar would make a difference or not. I don't know. And if you guys have any ideas, help me out. Leave it in the comments. And I know there's a lot of you guys that by this point in the video probably commented saying that I should have bought the Ascend Kayak that this blind is made for. Well, <laughs> I, uh, I would have, but, you know, Old Town decided to send me this top water for free. So, you know, that's kind of how it works. It'll work the way it is. I'm not concerned. I can kill ducks out of it. I just know that I can make it fit better. I don't know how to do it. I would hate to like, one thing that's like obviously pointing out to me right now is I can drill this L bracket into the hole of the kayak, but I don't want that drilled in there because I can't just like take it on and off. And I don't want to just have L brackets sticking out of my kayak when I'm not having the blind on it. So that is the problem I'm facing right now. But maybe I'll look and see if I can find some gear tracks that are like four inches long. If I can find one that's four inches long, it should work. But um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So what else I want to do in this video is give you guys a little bit of a tour of the Quack Yak because I've gotten tons of questions since the beginning of when I got it about it. So we'll start here at the front and I'll give you guys a tour towards the back. On the front here, I've got my Oxbeam 4-inch lights. They work really well. I did a video on installing these. I had to make a custom bracket to fit on the handle because I didn't want to drill into the hole of the kayak. So to run the lights, I use one of these. These might look familiar to you. It's a 12-volt battery. It's just like a Lucky Duck battery, but bigger. And I put it inside this ammo can. And I put the ammo can inside the hatch so there's a little button that i also run out to the inside the cockpit here where i can click the lights on and off and then of course we've got the blind this blind is a redhead kayak blind even though it says cabela's northern flight it is a redhead kayak blind it has to deal with the whole like bass pro buying cabela's that kind of deal you get it at bass pro if you guys haven't picked up on it yet this fits the H12 kayak made by Bass Pro, the Ascend kayak. It's made to fit the 12 foot model. So I have a 12 foot Old Town Topwater. They told me it would fit on there, which it did, but then I decided to add the rudder system and that kind of threw me for a loop. Now we're here. So um, one little hack that I figured out is if you brush the blind too much, you can't use the clips that they give you, like here on the front. The blind does have clips to hold these rolls rolled up on the front and back. If you just take a bungee cord, you can just bungee it right on there. I'm sorry if the camera angles are a little weird. This is just a, a very difficult thing to film by yourself. And then of course on the back, we've got the hole. And this is where I do a lot of decoy storage and all this. Like if the decoys are out, I put like um, my life jacket back here and other stuff like that. So pretty basic storage well. And then on the back, as you guys know, I've got the rudder system. Talked about that plenty of times. The kayak does have little doodads on it, like rod holders and little cup holders and stuff like that. But for a duck hunting rig, I have it set up with the lights on the front, the blind, and then decoy storage. That's pretty much it. And then if I go duck hunting in it, I pretty much just bring the bare minimum. I bring my coffee, my gun, shells, calls, camera gear, life jacket, paddle. So I'm not carrying a whole lot of stuff because it's a self-contained unit. You don't need a whole lot. So, all in all, I think we're on the right track with the blind and what I need to do. I just, I wanted to test that idea out and see how it would work. Like I said, this is just kind of like the prototype version of it that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I definitely need to figure out a way to move that bar backwards a little bit and then we'll be perfect. That is the biggest thing is I just need to scoot it back like six inches. So I think what I'm going to do is look online and see if I can find like a four inch uh, track mount that I could mount that, uh, the bar too and I think that would solve the problem entirely and I think it would work out really well I just I really hate drilling holes in the kayak and you know I, I just I don't want to screw anything up so bad that it doesn't work anymore so I'm 
figured I'd try the easy thing first and then gauge to see where we need to go from there. But overall, I'm pleased with it. Now I know the direction that I need to go with it. And if you guys have any ideas, leave it in the comments below. It will help out tremendously. And you guys always have a, a way of like thinking outside the box that I don't necessarily think of. So I have gotten a lot of questions about my kayak and I hope that kind of answers some of them a little bit. It's a Old Town Topwater 120 and it's a redhead kayak blind. So you can find the blind at Bass Pro, it fits it, but if you add the rudder system to the topwater kayak, you gotta think outside the box like I'm doing. But without the rudder system, it does work out. You just gotta kind of finagle it in there a little bit and it does work. So I guess now we know where we need to go and hopefully we can figure something out from here. And I'm hoping that by October we have it figured out. The next thing I wanna do is figure out how to rig that blind for the Duck Discovery, which is my Discovery 119 canoe made by Old Town. I've got a brilliant idea and I think it will work out really well. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try and get after that here pretty soon. If you guys wanna support the channel, go ahead and pick up one of these hats or one of these shirts. Click the link in the description. It'll take you over there. You guys can also follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.